everybody. It is Deep Whispers ASMR, and um, I wanted to tell you a story. It's a little late, and I it's the way life worked out, but uh, it's an eggnog story. I know I did the eggnog video for you guys before, but uh, about 10 years ago, 11 years ago now, um, there's actually a, a funny story, I think it's funny, where I was working in an office and um, there was sort of like a, a mandatory Christmas party and I've never been a big fan of huge gatherings and we were all supposed to bring something and I chose to make homemade eggnog but I didn't want to make it and then bring it to the party. So... I used the staff kitchen to make the eggnog on site, and um, I got there. I had dozens of eggs. I had pints and pints of cream, three gallons of milk. I was ready to go, man, you know, and uh, I get there. I'm making everything. I'm, I'm, I did it the fancy way, like in my eggnog video that I told you about, but didn't do. So I was whipping all the egg whites to fold into the yolk mixture and the milk. Um, and as I was mixing, I don't know what happened. It was just a little hand mixer. And it blew the whole building's power supply, I think. That's what they told me it was because it had never happened before. So on this night of the Christmas party while everyone's coming in and they're getting ready to have a great time and everyone's starting to eat food, I guess I destroyed the evening with a hand mixer. And uh, <laughs> about 15 minutes later, they got the power back on and I did my best to finish everything up and fold it all in. And I ended up making over three gallons of eggnog for roughly 20 people, which, I don't know, maybe that's enough, maybe it's not. It turned out to be way too much because people uh, didn't like the idea of raw eggs in it, even though they were pasteurized eggs. They didn't want to drink it because it was raw eggs, so they nobody drank it. I was the only one who drank it, and I poured all of the eggnog back in to the, uh, the gallon containers. And, um, I poured all of the eggnog mixtures back into the, the gallons of milk, the milk gallons. And, um, it was difficult because it wasn't just like the empty milk goes back into the empty milk. It's also the extra cream, the eggs, the sugar, all the things. So, I had eggnog at my house for days, and I, I did, I had like three glasses a day on top of, I, I put it in my cereal, which was good, and uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I was thinking post cereal, post brand cereal, has banana pudding, it's like vanilla wafers, mini vanilla wafers, and marshmallows. And uh, that's a cereal, at least here in the United States, because we add marshmallows to everything. But I, it's banana flavored, vanilla wafer marshmallow cereal by Post, and it's so good with eggnog. It's ridiculously good. So sugary. Oh my God! Watch out! Like, eat it on the way to your dentist so that he can save all of your teeth, he or she, because it's so sweet. But it's really Americanly good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so I drank eggnog for as fast as I could because I didn't want it to go bad. So for three days, I just drank eggnog like a crazy person. And um, I had it with steak. I had it with a steak dinner. I had it in the morning. Uh, I took some with me to work in a thermos. And it was... the probably one of the best three days of my life because I love, love eggnog. I always have and I always will. And uh, I just thought it was a funny story, funny enough to maybe talk to you about it and tell you. And um, I also like the trigger words for me, which is like egg and nog and milk and cream and egg beaters and uh, hand mixer, mixing bowl, nutmeg, grinding of the nutmeg.
nutmeg is so good. All of these words are some of my very favorite words, along with one of my very favorite things to eat. So I thought I would share this story with you because of the trigger words and because I, I, I love you guys. I want you to be here and, I, I, and all the other things. Enjoy life, and I will see you in the future. Thanks for listening.